Huh? Wiper must be there. Jubilee should be there. ODM should be there on that side. And on our side, we should reflect our composition. And this is why I want to urge ODM, if you have not held consultations with your colleagues, you're going to give us problems. We'll be ruled out of order by that court. So we need that tomorrow's example by us be seen as a value adding. The only thing I'll request is because I'm, I'll be voting for you, I'll go by the ruling of the East African Court of Justice, I'll make sure that the people I vote for, I'll give some to ODM, some to WIPA, and some to Jubilee. And on the UDS side, because we have almost 90% majority, the law allows us as UDA to take all the UDA members of parliament and I'll therefore be guided and I urge members to be guided by the geographical consideration so that the entire community of Kenya is also in East Africa. I support. Thank you, uh, Senator Wambua. I, I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also stand uh, in support of um, the report and hasten to say that, Mr. Speaker, there is a lot of consultation going around, which is healthy. I mean, let, let those people who are interested in representing our republic in Iala lobby and, and converse and caucus. And there is no formula for doing it, Mr. Speaker. The people will canvas in the best way that they know how to. And at the end of the day, Mr. Speaker, the thing that we must all be very careful about, I think is what uh, Senator Alwali has said, that we need to take to Arusha a team of nine members who will represent two things, Mr. Speaker. One, the face of this country, and two, Mr. Speaker, the competence levels of representation of this country. And Mr. Speaker, this is not to say that the youth should not get an opportunity. They must get an opportunity. The Speaker, it will be remembered that at some point all of us were first-time senators or members of the National Assembly. So we cannot say that one of the criteria for electing people to Yala should be people who are previously, previously served in a parliament. The Speaker, people are competent enough, they lobby enough, they canvass enough, they caucus enough. The speaker let the best team go to represent Kenya in Arusha. I thank the speaker. Senator Tobiko. Thank you, Mr. <coughs> thank you, Mr. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I let me arise to um, Or, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the report of the committee that they have done a good job by, uh, with the names that they have uh, presented to both houses to be considered for the Yala Parliament. Mr. Speaker, let me say um, all those who are in that list are uh, Kenyans who can represent this country. But, Mr. Speaker, it's good that as we go to vote, we consider the face of this country, we consider diversity, we consider regional balance, <clears throat> and we also consider competence, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as we consider all categories, it's also good um, that uh, uh, people who are physically challenged are considered because if we have seen them in the list, the youths are considered because we have seen them in the, in the list. And, uh, um, um, uh, the women of this country, uh, there is a fair number in that list. And as my SG said, it will be good if for the first time we can have majority of women in the Iala parliament. <coughs> because we have seen the women of this country are also competent, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as we consider many factors, it is good that uh, we consider that there are communities particularly that cut across 
uh, the borders of, 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 of the East African countries. You will find a community like the Maasai. They are both in Tanzania and they are in Kenya. You'll find, um, you know, I think the Pokot. There are many communities that cut across, um, um, uh, you know, in, in, uh, and it will be good that such communities are given a chance because as they go to East Africa, they will bring unity of purpose in, in, in all our countries, Mr. Speaker. There are aspects. Honorable Senator, your time is up. Senator Ledama. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the report on the Joint Committee on the Elections of Members to Serve in the East African Parliament. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to remind us that this is an extension of this parliament. The men and women, and I'm happy to see that both coalitions I've considered at least five women on that side, five women on this side. I hope that we can send many women to be able to represent us. I want to support the, or I share the sentiments of my sister, that it will be imperative for us to look at communities that share boundaries so that we can be able to uh, enhance cohesion between these two countries. The purpose of the East African Legislation Assembly is to be able to foresee a future development where this country, Mr. Speaker, that's 53 seconds, as I have a minute, yeah? Um, for the future of the community, so that at least eventually we can have one country which will be called the East African country, and that is going to be able to help us enhance development. Mr. Speaker, some of the things that we'll be talking about in future is an introduction of future parliaments or future committees that will look at the challenges that we go through. So I want to beseech my uh, colleagues that on, on Thursday, let us look at the list entirely. Let us take into consideration those issues that we've discussed here. And also, plead with my colleague that at least every Kenyan has got a right. It doesn't matter. We never chose to be born by rich families or poor families. We are all Kenyans. When we come here, let us respect each other. Let us give each other an opportunity. And God will select the best person to represent us. Finally, remember that whoever we send to the East African legislation will be representing this parliament. It is an extension of this parliament, and that is why it is us, the members of parliament, who are electing our colleagues to go and represent us there. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Robert. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support the report of the Joint Committee and uh, as we've looked at the report, the people selected by the Joint Committee are uh, people representative generally, you know, under the circumstance of the country and uh, the regions. This is an opportunity for us as a parliament to be able to really help in fine tuning what the committee has done. The committee has done a fantastic job. And in fine-tuning what the committee has done through voting, it is very critical that we don't let down the committee because the committee has really, there are youth in this, uh, in this proposal. There are, you know, women. Uh, there are uh, people with experience. There are people without experience. And they're all there. And with that spirit of the committee, it is an opportunity for us to be able to select Yes, the proposals has been given by different political coalitions, but uh, as members of parliament here, uh, allow people to lobby as what we have gone through in terms of, uh, uh, you know, election. But in as far as even considering the lobbying, we should not miss the opportunity to be able to see through and make sure that we maintain the same balance as done. I rise to support. Thank you. Senator Eddy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thank you. Good. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I also rise to support uh, <coughs> the report, and uh, I am drawn uh, through this report to Article 19 of the Constitution, 
uh, and I'm going to read sub, uh, sub article 1 and 2. Critically, uh, sub article 1 says that the Bill of Rights is an integral part of Kenyan's democratic state and is the framework for social, economic, and cultural policies. Sub article 2 says that the purpose of recognizing and protecting human rights and fundamental freedoms is to preserve the dignity of individuals and communities and to promote social justice and the realization of the potential of all human beings. Mr. Speaker, the day we attempt to suspend these articles, whether by just words or by mere Senator political Umbua, rhetoric, consult in, uh, with the day we, we attempt to suspend this article, Mr. Speaker, whether by words or political rhetorics, is the day we will condemn all our children to condemnation without relief. I am very disappointed at uh, a senator who has spoken very passionately, profiling uh, sons and daughters of other senior politicians of the, in these countries with regards to this, when we know that when we talk about dynasties today, by virtue that you've gotten an opportunity to be in this house, you are also, be, you are a politician, and your sons and children will be treated to the same measure that you put. And therefore, I request that as we consider this election coming in on, on, uh, on Thursday, please let us consider people on the basis of people can advance the economic opportunities for our people in the East African market. If you talk about somebody like Winnie Odinga, you might look at the daughter of Raila Molo Odinga, but Winnie Odinga is also a qualified Drexel University double major graduate. So please respect the Constitution. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Senator Anyeni. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also rise to support the report by the Joint Committee and uh, also urge honorable members in this House that uh, the shortlisted candidates meet the requirements, but we need to shade off the narrative of these slots being a, a Bureau of Employment. This house is going to be judged by uh, citizens across the East African community countries by the kind of people we are going to send to that house. Secondly, someone like me would never have made it to this Senate hadn't I been given a platform. So I beg to request that members consider young people, women, so long as you have the capability and qualifications needed, you fit the bill to be in that house. Thank you. Honorable Senators, and I put the question, the pursuant. Sir, Honorable Senators, at this juncture, I will invite the mover to reply. Uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, I stand here a very proud member of the Joint uh, Select Committee of the two houses. Uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, of note is uh, the fact that this committee took into consideration a lot of uh, 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 comments that I've heard from the Honorable Senators on the floor. Honorable Speaker, as I stand here, I wonder uh, about certain uh, reference to daughters or sons or nepotism or cronism, Honorable Speaker. This was an advert that was given to Kenyans. And Honorable Speaker, we invited applicants from Kenyans, willing Kenyans who are interested. And Honorable Speaker, those are the applicants that we received uh, and uh, we end up with the final uh, uh, names that we'll be presenting to this house. But Honorable Speaker, are we saying as senators that our children or daughters or whoever they are will never go for seats that they are passionate about? Honorable Speaker, I grew up as a daughter of a teacher. And Honorable Speaker, your parents are the first mentors that you have 
uh, uh, in the society. I thus became a teacher and a number of my siblings. Are we saying as a house that the Teacher Service Commission was wrong to give me a, uh, <laughs> an opportunity to be a teacher? Uh, Honorable Speaker, are we saying like the Honorable uh, uh, Senator Boni Aluala is a doctor? Would it be wrong for his son or daughter to be uh, a doctor? Yeah. Honorable Speaker, let us give chance to willing Kenyans that have made applications and have met uh, the requirements that were so placed. The committee took into consideration regional balance, uh, gender, and youth, and shades of opinion also have been taken care of by political parties. I reply, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Senators, pursuant to Standing Order 84.2, I do make a determination that uh, this matter does not affect counties and therefore proceed to put the question. The pursuant to the provisions of Article 50 of the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community and Rules 13.5 of the East African Legislative Assembly, elections, election of members of the Assembly Rules, the Senate adopts the report of the Joint Select Committee on the election of members to the East African Legislative Assembly on its consideration of the nomination papers of the duly nominated candidates for election as members of the East African Legislative Assembly laid on the table of the Senate on Tuesday, 15th November 2022. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Next order, clerk. Order number 10, motion, approval for the Senate to hold a morning sitting on Thursday, 17th November, 2022. Majority leader. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I beg to move that pursuant 